Let me just give you a brief introduction to the three core principles that we'll be measuring with a multimeter. We've got the voltage, the resistance, and the current flow or the amperage. The easiest way to visualize this would be through plumbing. If you had a garden hose on the exterior of your house with a faucet on it, and if you turn the faucet off and that water pressure builds up behind the faucet because you haven't turned it on, that's your voltage. Voltage is just electrical pressure. So once we open that faucet up and we allow the water to flow into the garden hose, now we've got the water running full speed through the garden hose. That's your current flow. The amount of water or the volume of water that flows through can be measured just like we can measure current. The last thing we're talking about is resistance. And resistance would be the resistance to the flow. So if we were to put a kink in the hose, we've created a bunch of resistance in our circuit and the water will stop flowing as quickly. And those three properties are all related to each other and you just need to understand that. There are some other things that we could talk about like Ohm's law and the exact mathematical relationship between voltage, current, and resistance. And there's plenty of charts out there if you wanna get into that. But right now, I think if you just understand the basic analogy, it helps you understand electricity a little bit better.